What if I told you the biggest asteroid in the universe is so massive that it's actually classified as a dwarf planet? Meet Ceres, the king of all asteroids. But here's the thing, it's not just about size. There are some mind-blowing things about Ceres that you probably didn't know. Before we dig deeper into Ceres, let's talk about asteroids in general. Asteroids are basically giant chunks of rock, metal, and sometimes ice, left over from the formation of our solar system. Some are small, about the size of a car, and others. Well, some of them are massive. Most asteroids are found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, while some, like Apophis, have made headlines for potential impacts, the biggest one there is Sears. And Sears is massive. Now let's talk about Ceres. It's so big that it's officially classified as a dwarf planet. How big? Ceres has a diameter of about 590 miles. To put that into perspective, that's about the distance from San Francisco to San Diego. This makes Ceres not just the biggest asteroid, but also one of the most unique objects in the entire solar system. Now, most asteroids are made of rock or metal, but Ceres, it's a little different. Scientists believe it's made up of rock and a whole lot of ice, and it is suggested that it might even have a salty ocean beneath its surface. Some think it could even hold the potential for microbial life. Ceres has these mysterious bright spots. When NASA's Dawn spacecraft flew by, it spotted these shiny spots on Ceres' surface sparking all kinds of theories. Were they ice? Salt? Aliens? Well, turns out they're highly reflective salt deposits left over from briny water that once oozed onto the surface. And here is the interesting part. Ceres is so big that it makes up about 25% of the mass of the entire asteroid belt. It's one quarter of the entire belt. Road missions like NASA's Dawn have studied Ceres up close, giving us a glimpse into its past and maybe even its potential future. What's really fascinating is that Ceres might have had volcanic activity, except instead of molten lava, it's ice volcanoes. Ceres might have cryovolcanoes that erupted salty water instead of magma. How wild is that? What if Ceres was on a collision course with Earth? Well, Ceres is so massive that if it hit Earth, it would release energy equal to hundreds of millions of nuclear bombs. The impact would be catastrophic, wiping out entire continents in an instant. And the effects wouldn't stop there. The debris thrown into the atmosphere would block out sunlight for years, leading to global cooling, failed crops, and massive extinction events. But luckily, Ceres isn't coming our way. It's safely hanging out in the asteroid belt, and NASA keeps a close eye on these objects. So, no need to panic, at least not today. But here's the exciting part. Asteroids like Ceres might actually help us explore the future of space. Scientists are seriously looking into mining asteroids for valuable resources. And with Ceres being such a massive object with water ice, it could one day serve as a pit stop for missions to in the solar system and beyond. Some experts even believe that in the future, we might establish colonies on asteroids or use them to refuel spacecrafts. Ceres could be one of the stepping stones for humanity to reach deeper into space. Ceres is just one of thousands of asteroids out there. There are so many more to discover. And who knows, maybe there's something even bigger out there waiting to be found. What do you think? Could the next big discovery be around the corner? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you want more mind-blowing space facts, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell.